This is Addie Lipinski. Look at that sweet smile. Addie is nine years old and battling a complicated cancer. Now this is Adam Deal. He's 15 years old and a competitive swimmer. You might wonder what the two have to do with each other. When Adam's practices were put on pause earlier this year as a result of COVID-19, he decided to set a new goal with his athletic abilities to bear crawl for a mile to raise money for Addy. And Adam joins me via Zoom now to talk more about his crawling for cancer efforts. Adam, I love this idea. I, I love what you're doing. Tell me about how it came about. Yes, ma'am. So because of the coronavirus, I've been, I had to get out of the water my trainer and I, we came up with the goal to bear crawl for a straight mile. I've been bear crawling for a while, but nothing nothing longer than three or five minutes. So the mile bear crawl, I, I was like, it's it's good just to do, but I, I wanted to raise money for a charity. And I thought Addie was the perfect charity to do it for because of what she's going through. Yeah, how do you know her? Well, so my, uh, my parents have known her parents for a long time. And I found out about Addie's Addie's cancer through um, through them, and mm -hmm. so I'm I'm starting to get to know her through this. What do you think about her? Is she wonderful? She's she's so sweet. She um, I can't believe how strong she is through this. Mm -hmm. Like she's she's kept a smile on her face the whole time. She says that she loves being a part of the A team. That is so so. You have Adam and Addie. Yes, ma'am. I love it. So you want to raise money, of course. So and so far. You haven't even done the bear crawl yet, and the response has been overwhelming. Oh, yes, ma'am, totally. Um, the goal was originally $1,000, and now we've over doubled that. And it's the, um, the love that's been coming in for Addie has just been incredible. That is, what do you think about what she's going through? I think it's, it's um, terrible that she has to go through that, especially at a young age. She, she's battling cancer, and she has, she has three years of treatment ahead of her. So it's crazy, and I, I can't believe that she's, she's so strong. It's awesome that she's strong. It, it, it really is. And so I what I love about this is the bear crawl idea. Like, how'd you come up with that idea? You know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to go for a run, going to do this. You think bear crawl. <laughs> yeah, so um, I can't run. Um, as a swimmer, <laughs> swimmer's out of water, it's like a fish, fish on ground. Um, but... I, I've been bear crawling since about September, trying to up my increments of bear crawling. Mm -hmm. And so with a bear crawl, my knees cannot touch the ground. So it's a really, it's a really hard workout on your legs and your arms. And so I thought um, the, the aspect of almost pain during bear crawl would uh, give me a representation of what it could be like for Addie, but what she's going through is like 10 to 100 times worse than what, what a mile bear crawl is. It's so true, but I'm sure she, this just means so much to her. So this is coming up, right? You're going to do it for a mile on the 12th? Yes, ma'am. Um, we'll be bear, or I'll be bear crawling for a mile on June 12th at 9 a.m. Are you feeling ready for it? Oh, yes, ma'am, totally. Um, I have to wear pads on my hands, though, because that um, it should take me about two hours to bear crawl for the mile. And so I, I don't want to get any blisters on my hands or anything. So I'm wearing pads and gloves. Are you going to do two hours? Like, are you not going to stop? Oh, no stopping. I'll, I'll, I'll have to turn around every time I get to a, like a, a turning point. But other than that, there's no stopping. My knees won't touch the ground and my butt won't touch the ground. This is going to help you a lot when you are able to get back in the pool, right? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Um, I was original, so I was training with no goal whenever I'd gotten out of the water. And so I had to make this goal of bear crawling for a mile to substitute what I was training for, for mm -hmm. swimming. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so I know you've already had an overwhelming response, but if more people want to donate, they want to be involved, I think they're going to hear about what you're doing and think you are just incredible because I think that. How can they help you out? How can they be part of the cause? Yes, ma'am. There's a GoFundMe page on Facebook, and there's one on YouTube also. Um, you can go and donate there. Addie said that um, what's helped her get through it is all the love and support from different people. So what, um, anything that you can give would just be amazing. That is incredible. And we'll have a link, of course, on our website, delmarvelife.com, to get you to that. Give Addie our love and support, too, would you? If, if this goes well, do you think you'll do more in the future? Um, I probably will. Um, I, I've, I've actually enjoyed um, raising money for Addie and because it's making her, it, 
I hear that it's making it a little bit easier. It's, it can't ease the pain at all, but it's making it a little bit easier for their family. So I probably will do some more of this in the future. Thank you so much. That's amazing. You are a great kid. Thank you for what you're doing, and good luck to you with the bear crawl, and good luck to you when you get back in the pool. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought um, the aspect of uh, almost pain during bear crawl would uh, give me a representation of what it could be like for Addie. We met Adam Deal of Ocean Pines last week, and if you're anything like me, you were blown away by the empathy of this 15-year-old. Adam is a competitive swimmer, but since he can't get in the pool, he had to refocus his athletic energy. Adam chose to set a goal of bear crawling for a mile, and he's made it into a fundraiser for a family friend, Addie Lipinski, who's battling a difficult cancer. Now together, they make up the A-team, and we are so excited to have the other half of the A-team here with us today. Addie Lipinski, Hello. Mom, hey. Sheila. And you guys are joining us from Florida, right? Yes. Yep. Northeast Florida. Wow. We used to live in Maryland. We've kind of moved all over because we're military. So we've moved all over. We kind of landed here in Florida. So. Well, I'm so glad that we can connect. And Addie, uh, tell me who you've got there with you. This is Cupcake. Cupcake is dressed to the nines for this interview. I'm very yeah. excited about that. Yeah, she's pretty special. She's been to every appointment, mm. every hospital visit, every lab draw, every chemo, everything. Mm. Everyone knows her at the hospital just as well as they know Addie. So. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so tell me just a little bit about, you know, Addie's story a little bit. Sure, yeah. So she started having this um, arm pain um, in, like, late February, I guess. And it was kind of shortly after a fall that she had off her scooter. So we took her into the PCP, then we took her into, and of course, during all of this COVID and everything, we were so nervous to even like, I was like, okay, we're not going to the emergency room. <laughs> and I'm a nurse. So of course I'm like, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. And so finally we got her into orthopedics and they said, oh, the, the x-ray looked a little suspicious for maybe a fracture, maybe, 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 they said. Mm -hmm. So they said, you know, kind of just take it easy. So we did that for a few weeks and the arm pain got worse and worse. And so we took her back to orthopedics and they ordered an, MR an MRI. Mm -hmm. So April 1st was the MRI, April 3rd was when we found out that it was actually um, leukemia at that time, so. Wow. And so Addie, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. That's awesome. That makes me so happy to hear that. So what does your life look like day to day? Are you very busy with appointments? Like how's that all going? kind of busy but yeah. right now we're doing home health so it's not the most busy right now so a lot of uh, kids have um leukemia mm -hmm. i mean you know it's one of the more common cancers in mm -hmm. children um however she does have a genetic mutation called mm -hmm. the philadelphia chromosome and um, that's very very rare in kids so because of that it's a much more um, intensive treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, the protocols are all very different. It kind of threw everybody for a loop. So her treatment required us to be at the hospital many mm -hmm. days a week, four to five days. And um, now we've sort of um, fallen into a pattern where now home health is going to be able mm -hmm. to come. She has an access in her, uh, it's called a port. Mm -hmm. And so she already, you know, I'll just pull this down a teeny bit, mm -hmm. but she has this little, yeah. um, I don't know if you can see it, but a dressing there where she sort of has IV access mm -hmm. all the time. So she's already accessed for the week. So that way home health can come in and do the chemo and that we don't, we don't have to be exposed every day at the hospital and be there every day. So Addie, yeah. tell me about what you think about what Adam is doing for you. It makes me really happy to know he cares about me and I'm happy to be a part of the A team. That is awesome. How do you guys know each other? Um, we don't really know each other that well, Yeah, but I guess our parents are friends. Yeah, so I know his parents, Brad and Shannon, from um, many years ago, 13, 12, 13 years ago. We went to church together, um, and we had some college kind of affiliations, mm -hmm. and we became fast friends. Brad and Shannon, the deal, whole, whole deal family, mm -hmm. it, they're just the the kind of people where you just go, wow, like mm -hmm. salt of the earth, good, kind-hearted, loving, funny. I mean, they're just such good people. And um, and so it does not surprise me that they have a son who is 15 and yet the most 
I mean, dearest, sweetest thing ever yeah. and has really kind of embraced Addy. Social media kind of allowed us to stay in contact with the deals. And then when Addy was diagnosed, Shannon, um, Adam's mom was always one of the first ones to share our post, ask mm -hmm. for prayer and everything. Mm -hmm. And then they told us about what Adam was going to do. And it was just amazing. So actually, Adam and Addy just met, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday on FaceTime. What was that and like? It was just, <laughs> yeah. It was fun. Yeah? Kidding, what did you yeah, guys talk about? Cookies and cream milkshakes from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yes. That That's was a, a great conversation. <laughs> Adam was horrified that Addie's never had one of those. <laughs> so Adam is, was just so kind and sweet to her. Mm -hmm. He just, you can just tell he has this really special place in his heart for her. Mm -hmm. And um, he's really sort of just taken on this journey with Addie. He wants to keep in touch, mm -hmm. um, you know, even after this fundraiser is over. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just really beautiful to see his heart and um, to have him kind of take this on with, with Addie and our family. Yeah. Addie, do you think he's going to do well with that bear crawl? That's hard stuff. Yes. You think he's going to he's gonna nail it? He's a strong athlete. He's a strong athlete. If there was other kids that were going through what you go through, what would you tell them to encourage them? That they can find it and stay strong. What keeps you strong? Cupcake. <laughs> Not us. Nope. <laughs> Not the family, not the mom. Just cupcake. That's it. Just cupcake. <laughs> that, <laughs> wow. That is awesome. This has been eye-opening interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's it. We're, we're learning all the important facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And it was so sure. great to get to know you guys and keep us updated on, on how things go. We're cheering, we're cheering big time for the A-Team. We love the A-Team. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, Addie Lipinski and her mom, Sheila, from Florida.